final rotation, Florida trails by .325, so they've got to have a great floor routine in order to catch the fourth-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama that has been very consistent so far this evening. Cassie Price has been consistent this evening, and she's on beam right now. She has come on strong as a freshman, showing lots of consistency in all of the events. Front aerial, front flip. Switch leap to a straddle jump. For Acro Series, handspring layout, step out. Slight bobble on that. As you said, she is from Plantation, Florida, and trained at the Orlando Metro. Of course, half the Florida roster trained at Orlando Metro. That is becoming well known nationally as a headquarters for outstanding young gymnasts. See, nice side summy, very difficult move. And again, as we said earlier, the routines are starting from, if they have the difficulty, and they're from a 10-0. So the more difficulty they do, the better, but they can only start from so, from so much, but that can help them in the end. Round of pike double back, one little step on the end. But Cassie Price has been consistent all night long, consistent today. She's handling the pressure well, well for a freshman. 9-8-7-5 the score for the Alabama freshman. And now we head over to floor and get her lineup led off by Miss Consistency, Katie Root. And her routine is a favorite of the Rumblin' Tumblin' Reptiles, which is the student booster group here at Florida. It's a hip-hop medley, very crowd appealing. Another great thing about Katie, she can she has a couple of difficult skills that she can choose from. We'll see which one she's gonna start with. Full twist and double back. Now that step at the end, very different from a step coming off one of the other apparatus, right? Right. Even on the floor, it's nice to see the girls laying with their feet side by side, but that step back is not a deduction. Of course, unless it's out of bounds. It may not look as difficult as others, and um, it, it, they are, it just doesn't appear that way. You'll see it nowadays a lot of twisting moves as opposed to just the double backs. Do the judges have a list of the elements so they know them or are they expected to pick them up as they go along? Well, they have to study and know these requirements and know where these routines are starting their value from. You'll see a lot of the same passes throughout the day. Finishing strong with a nice pike double back, great landing. Taking a look, she's just a powerful tumbler. Nice high, full twisting, double back. She threw the double layout last week, but this week she pulled out the full twist and double back. And again, a pike double back. A great finish for the end of the routine when they're so tired. 9-8-2-5 for Katie Rue. And of course, she ended it with the Gator Chomp, and that's one of the things you have to look for in each Florida floor routine is where's the chomp going to come? And here's Savannah Evans. Savannah Evans, an outstanding floor exercise competitor for the Gators. She had battled the flu and some injuries when she came out of appearance. She is also a crowd pleaser. Nice high front double. Very unique. You won't really see that too often. Well, you know somebody likes to perform when on their list of goals they include diving off a whale's snout at SeaWorld. You know she likes to perform. One and a half twist into a front full. And a lot of people ask about the mats on the floor that you see. Um, that can be allowed as long as you see the chalk marks showing the boundaries for the floor exercise. I find it kind of hard to tumble off of. You saw her running back for her second pass from the mat, but obviously she has no trouble at all. The 
last time these two teams competed in the O'Connell Center, she hit her floor team for collegiate best 9.95. And the Gators beat Alabama here in the O'Connell Center two years ago, but last year fell to Alabama all three times they competed. See if she can finish strong here. Nice high tuck double back. A great routine for Savannah. Again, they've got so much power in their tumbling on this Florida team. Finishing strong looks like it, it was just as simple as her first pass. And a 9-9-0 for Florida's Savannah Evans. The Gators have got to be great on the floor. And as a result, a window of opportunity for the Gators. If they can nail all of their floor routines, or even all but one of their floor routines, they can win this meet. They've still got a lot of work to do, starting with Ashley Reed. That's when the home crowd really comes into play because floor is always just such an exciting event for the Gator fans, and they can really boost this team at this point. Nice high full twist and double back. She has a new floor routine this year set to the mile high jump. You know, Melissa, you talk about getting the crowd into it. That first tumbling pass is the key to that. You nail that, all of a sudden that crowd just really gets energized. Exactly, and the more fun the girl has throughout the routine, the easier it is for the crowd to get into that. Of course, when you land in your passes like that, that's not hard to do. If you want to talk about having fun with a routine, don't miss the end of this one. She ends it like she did last week against Oregon State. It's always refreshing to come in with a new routine once the crowd to see that. And if you've done a routine for a year or two, it gets kind of old after a while, so it kind of adds a lot of excitement for the girls having a brand new fresh routine. She won this event at the Super Six Challenge. Always a strong event for her. Nice finish with a pike double back. Great ending. <laughs> I love it. Let's take a look at this great tumbling. Nice high full twisting double back. Lots of difficulty on this floor to floor routines. And I've never seen a finish like this one. Nice high pike double. I don't know what you call that, but it looks like she's having fun. <laughs> Absolutely having a great time, as is the crowd of 6,000 plus here at the O'Connell Center. A 9-9-2-5, the Ashley Reed performance, certainly one the judges liked as well. The Gators can try to finish it off on the floor when we return.